right now I am going to go ahead and go back to this PC, the icon over here, and double click that. And I'm going to open up this window. And I am going to go ahead at this point and connect the Nexus 5 phone with the cable. Okay, so if you have your tablet, go ahead and take your USB cable that came with it, make sure it's plugged into your computer, and um, go ahead and connect it. And you'll get a pop-up up at the top on your device there too. It says USB is now connected. You're also going to get a pop-up at the top here. It says tap to choose what happens with this device. Now you can, you can tap on that, um, but at this point, if you tap on that little, this tab up here on the right, you want to click choose the one that says open device to view files. So that's going to open the file explorer just like that. Okay. And going into this PC one takes you right into that device as well. As you can see now, it popped up there. Okay. So anytime that pop-up comes up, if you want to do this manually, like I'm showing you, you just clicked it. Right there is the actual internal storage of the Nexus 5 phone. But I'm going to close out of that and we'll go back to this screen so we can stay right on the path here of showing you what to do. So if I unplug it, you can see it disappears over here by the C drive. So just watch there a minute. I'm going to unplug it and plug it back in. Now, you don't have to do this. I'm just showing you. Okay, see it pops up there, down here. So what you got to do now is basically go into, let's see, the Nexus 5 here. And of course, Nexus 5 has internal storage. So now what I'm doing here is in this list, I'm, I'm viewing the folders that are on the phone. Okay. And the folder that normally this DCIM folder is like um, a digital management folder of some sort that that's part of um, the camera program or photos or something. So a lot of times the your pictures are in this folder here called DCIM. So you want to double click the DCIM folder and then go into camera. Now there's all the pictures that are on my phone right now. Let's say I want to put all these pictures back on the on my phone. So I can come up here to the tabs at the top. It says home. Um, so I can choose select all. And then what you want to do is choose Let's say I want to leave a copy of them on my computer, but I want to put a copy of them on my phone. So I'm going to choose copy over here, left click copy. Then if you click paste, now it's copying those pictures over onto my phone. Okay, so now if I go on my if I go onto my phone here and go to pictures and scroll through, there's my there's the controller to my my helicopter. So I just chose those ones to go through. I took a picture of my printer. I chose these ones just to show you guys. So there, that's as simple as that. Um, you know, those are on my, those are over here on my phone now. So that is pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that really helps you guys out. Please like, subscribe, comment, share the video, and you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you.